a blind woman had hoarded for years, but then her sister-in-law saw a sinister shape on the floor. The elderly Brooklyn woman found this month living with the skeletal remains of her son, possibly for as long as 20 years, is a legally blind hoarder who may not have even known he was there, NYPD sources said. The chilling discovery of the skeleton was made September 15th when a relative showed up at Rita Wolfenson's Midwood home to fetch her belongings and take them to her in the hospital. In a debris-choked second-floor bedroom, sister-in-law Josette Buckman found a completely intact skeleton, dressed in jeans, socks, and a shirt, lying on its back in a thin mattress on the floor, police sources told The Post. It's like some reverse psycho scene, a law enforcement source said at the time, referring to Hitchcock's 1960 horror flick in which his son, Norman Bates, keeps his dead mother's remains in a basement. But investigators now believe Wolf and Zahn may not have known she was living with the corpse of her son. Cobwebs and garbage filled the room where the body was found, as if a garbage truck had dumped its load inside, police sources said. The room reeked of rotting food but not of decaying flesh, the sources further added. When police questioned the ailing woman, she spoke out about her son as if he had simply moved out. Her brother, Joseph Buckman, and his wife, Josette, would not say where Wolf and Son, whose husband Jesse died in 1987, is staying, but they were seen Saturday visiting a Long Island assisted living facility. Joseph told the Post he hadn't been close to Wolf and Son for years. Another relative said he wouldn't comment on the grisly mystery until after the funeral. The widow's Brooklyn home, a well-appointed two-story brick house worth about $700,000, had fallen into disrepair. Last week, it was empty with mail piling up. No one answered multiple calls to the home phone. Authorities have not officially identified the body, but believe the man was Wolfenson's son and that he died of natural causes. They would not provide a name. According to public records, Wolfenson had two sons, Michael and Lewis. Relatives said they hadn't seen Lewis, who today would be 49 years old, in 20 years. Michael died in 2003 at the age of 38, according to court documents. <laughs>